okay. your profile. How can we start thinking about looking like a a human being, someone that people want to actually be connected with before we connect with them? I would say the three easiest things to do to optimize your profile is background image, which is like the big banner behind the picture of your face, the picture of your face, and then your headline. And I feel like the profile picture, maybe the headline, but I feel like the profile picture is the easiest thing to change to increase your credibility. What you don't want is no picture. What? If you are not comfortable though, putting your own picture up, do a company logo or do like an emoji instead of nothing. Cause I know that's something I hear from folks that they're like, well, I don't want a picture of my face. And I'm like, that's fine, but make it not just like the weird ghost body outline. I'm with you there. When I see yeah. one of those folks, I assume they're just not a real person. Yes. So ideally have a photo of yourself. Any tips for making sure that photo makes you look like the kind of people that want, you know, people want to talk to and meet with and connect with? I think make it show your personality. So for you or me, that's probably going to be kind of like a bubbly or silly sort of photo, right? Yes. Always the double thumbs up, always a win. Um, for somebody else that, that might not be congruent with their personality. So show your personality, but try not to show like just the arm of somebody that you took the picture with partially cut off. Yeah. Like we all have iPhones, like, or whatever. We all have phones. Have have a friend take a picture of you against a white background. Get a tripod, set the timer up, lean it against something in the kitchen, and yes. just look smart. Um, and smile is a big one. If you're not smiling, people have a smile. Which not we don't program to be mean to people who are smiling at us. You walked up to someone on the street and tried to ask them to be your friend, and you weren't smiling. They probably think you're a creep, right? You're going to increase your chances when you're one of these bad boys on as well. Now. So the photo, you also mentioned the headline. What were you thinking there? What do people do wrong with that? What's a better approach? I think they, they just repeat their job title in their headline and it is such a waste of the space. If I want to know what your job title is, I, I just have to scroll down just, like just a little bit and it's right there. There's a whole job experience section. Your headline is about telling a story. And you are more than just your job title. So two of my favorite ways I love to see people use headlines um, is to talk both about who they are at work and who they are outside of work. I think that's a really fun way of making a seem just like more human, more relatable. Or another favorite is using it to talk about the problems you help your prospects solve. That's one that I really like as well. And and I point to this as well. If you just put your job title and you most likely work in sales, if you're on this on this on this uh, show here, people naturally are resistant to seeing sales. Like when you go to the store and someone walks up to you and says, "Hi, can I help you?" You immediately reject, right? You you instinctually push away. So we're not trying to deceive them by by making sure that our job title isn't sales, but by putting that there, you're basically holding a big flashing sign saying, "Hey, the chance of meeting you are higher than anyone else who's trying to connect with you." So. Just by changing that one thing, you're probably going to see more connection requests. 